And I woke up this morning and I like, as soon as I woke up, I went to blow my nose. When I blew my nose, like some of that raccoon dander or I don't know what it is, but it was in my, like in my nose, just gagged instantly. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, yeah, as you can see, there's rack up here. And I'm gonna make sure I get all around up here, vacuum all this dust off and everything. I already vacuumed over here a little bit, but there's definitely some more to go. So this is what I was saying. Uh, ah, to get the smell out, you gotta make sure that you're catching everything. Right over here, uh, it's hard to see it, but there was a, a lot, a lot of the raccoon poop up there. Disgusting. But it is what it is. Got to get it done. And uh, it's about 9.30 at night. I'm going to get the rest of this vacuumed out, and hopefully I can get the rest of the house done. Uh, my buddy Todd and his son were here earlier. They did a lot of the second floor, so if I can knock out the first floor and get this all tightened up, I'll be pretty happy. And then we'll see how it smells in the morning. Might get away with just vacuuming the house out very well, but uh, worst case scenario, I could definitely use some kills to knock it out. So let's see what happens. Allergies are crazy. I was out here until about, I don't know, like 10, 30, 11 o'clock last night. Vac vacuuming even more nest and just all kinds of nasty stuff from the raccoons um, I'm guessing there were like squirrels or something like that too um, birds nest all kinds of stuff as a matter of fact here I know the birds nest is still in here Ugh. this stuff is disgusting like see all the hair so nasty Man, I swear to God, every time I do a house, I'm like, oh, I'll never run across something this nasty again. And then I'm like proven wrong because this house by far is the most nasty I've ever been around in my life. Whenever I got done last night, went home, took a shower, took my mask off, threw off, threw away all that. And I woke up this morning and I like, as soon as I woke up, I went to blow my nose. When I blew my nose, like some of that raccoon dander or I don't know what it is, but it was in my, like in my nose, just gagged instantly. Oh my God, disgusting. But uh, it is what it is. And we are going to try to get this thing together. The problem that I have right now is it still smells like a uh, raccoon up here. As far as the rest of this goes, they were all through here. So like pretty much anywhere you look, you can see hair that was left behind from them. Okay, I can't focus in on it, but there's hair right there. And this is after like going through and vacuuming everything from the top of the house down to the bottom of the floor, vacuuming everything. So, um, yeah, we uh, tried the first thing that it helped out with the smell but it didn't get it gone at all. So now we're gonna uh, get the soften and fascia up and hopefully we can start some spray foam today and that should take care of a lot more of it and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here's an update on the raccoon smell. Uh, we ended up going to Home Depot, not Home Depot, Lowe's, got a froth pack and the worst areas where they were nesting at a lot of the wood was kind of like rotted out. I'm assuming it's from whenever they pee, the ammonia or whatever eats through the wood. So we got some closed cell spray foam and sprayed those areas. And the smell is much, much better. It still smells like a bit of a zoo, but a clean zoo. So we're pretty confident that once the drywall goes up, you won't be able to smell anything. I mean, it's it's much, much, much better up here. So these areas over here, where you see the foams really lumped up at, that those were the main areas that uh, they were at. So I'm pretty confident that everything's good. We're gonna keep on going with the show as planned, 
and about 330 some dollars later plus labor uh, I feel pretty confident with it so that's the way that we dealt with the smell if that hadn't worked we would have came through with some oil based kills inside of a, a paint sprayer and we would have got that whole thing oh my fault we would have like sprayed this whole area but I don't think we're gonna have to do that so now we're back on to the next step